Okay, so I'm using one of the Microsoft Windows virtual machines from modern.ie and I want to install curl because I'm going to do some API testing and I do not yet have curl installed. So what I'm going to do is go off to the official curl website, which is here, curl official site. Then I want to download something for Windows. Now this can be really hard. Right, because you, you never quite know exactly what to do. If I scroll down, there's so much stuff here. There's quite a lot for Windows as well. So which one of these do I actually download? The easiest thing for me to do is to try the curl download wizard. So I'm going to say I want a curl executable. I want it for, yep, Windows. I want, I'll use the generic. Okay, so... I don't know exactly which one I'm going to install, but I'm going to try this. In fact, let's try this one first. So I'm going to save that. So let's open the folder. Okay, here it is. So I'm just going to extract everything there. This is a min GW um, application, which means essentially it's a Unix application that's been compiled using a set of libraries that allow it to pretend to be Unix. So given that it's a Unix style distribution, I'm going to assume that what I want is in bin. There's curl.exe. If I get a command line here and I type curl, there we go. So now I can do curl um, HTTPS colon slash slash. And there we go, so it's downloaded it. So that's good. So I've got curl accessible there. Now I could add this folder to the path, not that folder. I could add this folder to the path and then I'd have curl on my path. So let's just double check that that hasn't done anything to our path. Nope, curl is not there. So let's see what else we can download. So this is a cab file with the curl executable and it's got SSL. So let's download that one. So that's a cab file, which is a, an archive. So if I extract everything in there, okay, virtual machine doesn't want to do that. So I'll open it. Right, so I'm just going to take everything here. Because it's um, in a cab file, I really wanted to extract it properly. This is probably not going to look that good because there's a few um, versions of different files in there. Like there's multiple versions of curl. So that's oh, in different paths. All right, I'm going to pick everything from i386. Okay. Okay, so that works. So if I'd spent a little bit more time and researched how to extract a cab file properly, I might have got a different result, but essentially I've got curl from that package. So we've tried the Ming GW, we've tried the cab. Let's try the zip file. That might be easier. Let's try that. So it can be hard to do this, um, but we're experimenting, so we'll see which ones work. So at the moment, we've got two from the official website that are working. The zip, okay. Let's extract it from the zip. Zips are normally easier to work with, but let's see what's in this archive. Yeah, okay, so that doesn't look like a binary to me. So there's nothing in there that I can really use. So I will stick with the two that I found, which were the first two, the Ming GW one and the one in the cab. This one is probably the one that I trust most, most there simply because the way that I unarchived it, but the cab one is probably good enough. 
So that's from the official website. Now I noticed there was a chocolatey in there, so I'm gonna try that next. 